Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Skyblock. And in this video, we're just going to be upgrading our farms in Ho, just so we can start making a ton of money so we can go ahead and improve our island and farms. To start things off, I do have this farming book I want to go ahead and open in the Enchanter. We did get this from farming, so let's go ahead and warp through real quick. Basically, we're just hoping to get some pretty good enchants for our hoe. We currently have XP Finder, Gardener, Book Hunter, and Archaeologist, which is pretty decent, but we are hoping for some more enchants just so we can get some better rewards and stuff when we are farming. So we have car we have let's see we have value ticket finder which can help us find some value tickets It was actually pretty useful We have gardener which helps us break only grown crops which you already have so we don't need that And then we have crop crusher which says it harvests crops at a 7 by 7 radius Which is not bad at all either I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the crop crusher here just because it seems like a pretty good enchant 7 by 7 radius is actually pretty insane So let's see how much it will cost to actually apply it and boom and it did apply Okay, we're definitely going to take that we do also have this extra XP pet which is just going to give me more XP from farming I think and just clearing mobs and stuff like that currently this is what our farm is looking like this is the wheat farm and the potato farm is over there I do want to go ahead and expand the potato farm because currently it's pretty small and it does take a long time to regenerate we can go ahead and improve the regeneration time or how fast it grows in the is perks if you take a look here we are at about two percent boost if we want to improve that we do need to unlock three crop types in the island mastery and right now we're only on the second one so we are actually kind of close so that's why I do want to go ahead and make a bigger potato farm so we can go ahead and unlock the masteries faster because the higher the crop the actually more money we're going to be getting which is pretty good so let's go ahead i think i'm going to go farm a little bit um let me go ahead and activate this pet we're also going to get some gems and other things this archaeologist the archaeologist enchant actually gives us more gems and gems are pretty useful for some scrolls and stuff for spawners we currently have a little farmer set up over there or farm mob farm set up and basically just goes into the auto sell chest it has one more profit which is not bad and basically the scrolls that you can get from the gems is a fire scroll which sets the mobs on fire which it kills them then if we take a look i think there should be some in spiders we have the loot scroll which gives us more loot from the mobs and then we have the um i think it's magic scroll which basically just has a chance of spawning more mobs from each spawner which is pretty good there are there are all honestly some pretty good scrolls to have on your spawners especially the higher tier ones that make you a lot of money so that's the main goal that i'm going to be doing with gems is how getting those scrolls and the farming and the farms that we do have on our island are going to help us get a ton of gems so the new enchant that we did get is the crop crusher and it has the ability to break crops in a 7 by 7 radius which is really good honestly it just happened just proc and it honestly is a really really good enchant to have and we do need to go ahead and expand this farm because it currently is pretty small like we just finished farming all of it in a few seconds and it's gonna take a little bit to grow back so we're gonna probably have to farm the wheat for now and we can go ahead and expand the potato farm a little bit later in the video if we want but i just want to focus on getting some gems stuff like that real quick and i'm just going to farm the wheat while the potatoes regenerate because if you guys didn't know in the masteries you can actually go past like the first mastery so if we take the is masteries you can see once we get the different levels it's going to give us some skill boost some cell multipliers and stuff like that which is pretty good the cell multipliers were just going to give us more money from each of the crops which we're definitely going to take i think i want to go ahead and expand the potato farm to kind of the size of the wheat farm because the wheat farm is pretty good size it is regenerate pretty pretty quick like by the time i'm done from our farming it i only have to wait a little bit for it all to regrow back until i can actually farm it again we did have more island value so i don't know what happened there it says 5k right now so i don't know if it's a glitch or if they did reset the island values i also do want to get more robots which i'm pretty sure you can unlock from crates and we only have one currently i think we do have actually a few more in a chest so we might have to go ahead and make a farm for those those are honestly really good robots are especially good for grinding because i'm pretty sure you could get some like looting stuff and just stuff like that that are gonna make you a ton of money with the robots okay Okay, so I've got all the grass laid out, and I'm pretty sure this should be a pretty good size for the farm. I think it should be pretty efficient, and we can always expand even more on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the water down and go ahead and put down the seeds and everything. And I'll come back once I've done completed all the seed planting and all that, and it should be a pretty decent farm. Okay, so I'm done making the farm, and it is looking pretty good. We're just going to have to wait until the crops go grow to go ahead and farm it. And this is just going to be way more efficient than the old one. We're going to have way more potatoes that we can farm in a current like session. And if we check the ice mastery, I want to see how far I way i am from the carrot mastery so we've got about one third of the mastery to the carrots so yeah we're gonna have to farm but this farm is definitely gonna help us get that mastery way faster and we're also gonna be getting more money 
from this and gems and just things like that so these farms are actually going to help us a ton as long with the wee farm that we do currently have once i do get a little bit more money we can actually go ahead and buy enchants even on ah if we really wanted to because we are lacking a pretty good hoe we have some enchants but it is just kind of like it's not the best right now we don't we just don't have the best enchants on it so yeah we definitely have some better enchants and we get those and get specific ones off the ah but we are kind of down on money and we do need some money so we're just going to continue afking this mob farm and farming whenever we can i do have some slash crates that we can go ahead and open up for some extra spawners and things like that so let's go ahead and do that real quick we do have quite the amount as you can see so i'm just gonna spam open up all of them and i'll come back once i've sorted everything out we should get some spawners and stuff and some value tickets which are just gonna be very very helpful okay so i'm done opening up all of the crates and we did get some things like these pet eggs so i'm gonna go ahead and open up those real quick we got all these spawners as you can see and we did get some pouches so let me open up those two so okay so we got the holy supercharged pet which basically supercharges nearby crops that could be actually pretty useful to us when farming and we did get the book finder pet which which has a chance to just find us more books which is actually also pretty good and let's see what else we do have we did get some xp and stuff from those pouches and that's pretty much it we didn't get too much and the stuff that we did get we salvaged just for some extra coins and gems and stuff like that and we do have 127 mil so we did get some money from that too which we're definitely going to take we need to take all the money that we need but i'm going to go ahead and put down all these spawners as you can tell we have a pretty decent amount down here okay so i'm done putting down all these spawners and the farm is looking pretty good we should be making a decent amount of money from this actually as you can tell we have two million hero right now and it should be going up a pretty pretty decent amount every time it does sell it we do only currently have the rare auto sell chest so we are looking forward to getting a legendary one just so it can sell a little bit faster and so it's more efficient we do also have quite the blaze farm over here we do have some decent amount of blazes that we could go ahead and grind for some xp and we are actually gonna have to do that as we do keep getting more enchants for our gear and stuff like that just so we keep making more money with the enchants and stuff and we can also sell the enchants on ah i just thought of that that is a way we could be making money but i think i'd much rather use the the enchants on my hoe so once we do actually increase in our masteries we're going to be making a ton of money from that okay so i've been afking the crops for for when they'll be fully grown and it looks like they basically are yeah this farm is just going to be way more efficient to us it's definitely going to help us in the long run for getting that mastery unlocked and we're also just going to get a ton of gems and money from it so yeah we're definitely going to take this and we should be getting some more books and stuff eventually we should probably activate one of these pets i think probably the best pet is the book finder pet because we do really need some books for our, our current gear. We don't really have that many enchants. And the higher levels, we actually do need some higher levels for our enchants. As you can see, a ton of them are actually level 1. And you can see that the Crop Crusher, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Crop Crusher enchant just proc there. So that is a really good enchant to actually have on your hoe. But I am going to have to grind some XP. As you can see, I am at a pretty low amount. So we're going to have to get some XP so we can actually go ahead and enchant. But yeah, we did get our Farming Seal to level up 25. We should be getting some stuff for that. Looks like we got 10 Endermen, some Keys, and a Holy Pet egg okay let's go and up ahead and open up the pet egg let's see if we get a good pet from it and it looks like we got a holy harpoon pet which has the ability to speed up fishing okay we don't really need that we don't really go fishing in this we could definitely try to um, test that out eventually but i want to see the other pets i do have and okay maybe the universal pet could be pretty decent but the book finder pet is probably the best for now just so we could keep getting some more books and it looks like we actually did get one so let me go ahead and put the endermans down and let's go ahead and enchant so let's see hopefully we get a pretty good enchant from this to actually go ahead and put on our hoe that's going to help us and let's just see what we can actually get we have speed treasure hunter and value ticket finder honestly the best one in here is value ticket finder because these value tickets we can go ahead and put into our island value it is 5k right now it was around like i don't really remember but it was in the hundred thousands so i don't really know what happened they might have did a little reset to the island values or something or it might just be glitching i really don't know but yeah let's see how much it costs to enchant i think it is a pretty decent amount and it is 64 okay we're definitely gonna have to grind for that but i think i'm gonna wrap things up there thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one and peace out